We got this table a few years ago at a yard sale and came with the four chairs for a hundred bucks. Now, we've been talking about changing the tiles for a long time. I uh, purchased some new tiles and inscribed where the new tiles would go. I actually took all the tiles out, separated them with the 1 16th inch uh, tile separators and then marked it all out according to where they should fit so that I can trim up this wooden section to make the tiles fit in this uh, this frame because the tires are a little bit bigger so it's going to be a little bit more work to get them in there. Six inch tile that's in there right now is a lot smaller than the eight inch tile so I'm going to be trimming that out using my router to cut this line out of here and then I'm going to use a chisel to mark off the edges now also we want to paint the uh, the chairs because right now they're the white color and I'm going to stain this a dark darker uh, cocoa color to match these tiles and my wife wants to use the uh, color that's right about there like a teal almost to uh, make it look better and more you know more updated so the first chair I took apart had a few screws in it the only thing you gotta really watch out for is you make sure that the screws coming in here to the four pegs and then once that's all open I use a a hammer and uh, I don't have a rubber hammer so I used this block of wood underneath the base here to give me something to whack against so that I don't scar all this up it got a little bit scarred, but this is all going to be sanded down and redone anyway. I can't take these apart because there's nails in them instead of screws. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a nail right there on each area. And taking nails out, you just can't do it. I did mark each one with where it's going to be as in, I put an R on there because it's the chair my son sits in. So I put his initial on there and they do have a couple of wedges that I took out from the backrest because once the backrest goes through here, they wedge it apart. So I had to remove these wedges before I could pull the backrest out. So I'm probably just going to replace them with a different uh, wedge even though they're in pretty good shape. So we'll see, we'll see. But this is the first one, so we'll see how the other ones turn out. Now, unfortunately, as you can see here, this one head of a screw broke off. So we're gonna have an issue there. I definitely won't be able to use that screw again and it's holding the leg in so that's another problem hopefully i can knock it out with my uh hammer but it might not come free Edges. Came out nice and smooth. Okay, so as you can see, this side came out nice. That side looks nice and clean. Now this side here, the uh, wedge get all messed up. So I'm gonna have to dig it out, put a new wedge in there for sure. Which, now that it's free, is a lot easier to dig out. They're usually not even tightened down really hard, so 
they're not locking nuts. So once you get them loose, they just come right off. So it's pretty easy. I might actually put some log washers on here just to just to add some extra security. Because right now it's just standard washers. Well, that's it. All right. So as soon as I turn it upside down, I noticed that this particle board down here is barely being held on to this wooden frame. So there's a bunch of screws in it. Most of them had popped out as soon as it went upside down. Those particle board, you know. But anyway, so I figure I got all the screws out and now it's practically coming apart. So I'm just gonna replace the particle board with some uh, sheet rock. And that should solve the problem of it coming apart again. Just kind of held in place with the silicone right now. So now all I gotta do is get some uh, some sheetrock, not the uh, drywall sheetrock. I'm talking like uh, the tile laying sheetrock that actually will support it. The new tiles I bought are twice as thick as the old tiles. So this board here, this particle board would not even work anyway. It would have been, I would have had to cut down some just to get it to fit on there because it would stick up above the space. So I'm gonna go and uh, look at the hardware store, see what I can find. Okay, so I got everything taken apart. I got the Tabletop over here. Got this part over here with the wooden part of the tabletop. I got the chairs lined up, got the legs. These parts here are for the for the uh, skirting underneath. I'm gonna have those sanded down and uh, painted up. These here are just supports for the uh, underneath the table there to keep it from bowing in with the tile weight. And um, everything else is just gonna be sanded and uh, painted a nice teal grayish blue color i believe thanks for watching and uh see you later